We're at the end of January here and we're in a thawing moment. The snow has pulled away for the most part. And so I'm back out here in the orchard clearing area, finally making an update video after a little bit of a lull, at least in filming. I've been pretty active in this area. Um, but we're at a point here, it's a threshold where now all of the major tree felling is done, most of the cleaning has been done, and I wanted to go over it at this current point, show you what's been going on, and then talk about what the next steps are. So stick around. So if you aren't familiar with this whole project, I would review, I have a playlist of our orchard clearing and orchard development series for this particular sub-acre area. Um, so I won't go into the whole background here, I'll just continue forward. And you can see, for the most part, uh, the overstory in this area is dramatically open. In fact, the only canopy element you see there is a white pine, which I have a real affinity for, so I'm definitely leaving them, uh, or leaving that one. And there was a spruce here that my folks really liked off in the distance, so that one remains. That's to the east and south. And a little bit challenging, but I'm happy to take on the challenge. This big old grandma black walnut remains. And for now, her daughter, is here right in front of me and we'll decide on that one a little later but now that the canopy has been opened the opportunity in here to uh, kind of redirect the new pattern of succession is incredibly broad it's almost a little daunting but I'm very excited to have that challenge of design um, you can see here's a an example this tree right in front of me is a dolgo apple just like a crab apple seedling type that I planted about six years ago, crazy leaning, because up until a few weeks ago, this was a sub canopy element, and now it's just got this huge release. Really excited to see what it will do this year. And in the process of clearing, there's really nice bonus discoveries, like this Juglin's character, which I think is a bitternut hickory? I'm not sure. You know what I'd love is for somebody to comment. I should know my buds better than that. But from what I understand of it, that like mustard golden tip on a juglins tells you it's bitter nut. Maybe it's hickory. But either way, it's juglins. And either way, now that the canopy's opened up, I was really careful to work around this and other uh, walnut seedlings and chestnut seedlings that I have. It's going to be such a new opportunity for that to become the new succession, the new canopy. And so I'm going through, since the snow has receded, and raking up the pathways and debris. There's a lot of mess from, you know, felling 40, 50 plus trees and laying up these brush piles, these hugel mounds, very rough sketches of hugel mounds out of the material that wouldn't turn into charcoal in a good way. So the bigger logs and the green boughs of these trees. And you can see that the brush wall, the living wall to the southern end of the property line here is now massive. I mean, astronomically massive. <laughs> I had a hard time even getting material on top. I was throwing branches up and over. This is now about 15 feet thick. You can't see any light through a fair portion of this. You know, it opens up here or there, but so now I'm, all those tops are becoming really potent uh, elements to deflect or at least have some direction and influence over how deer move through this landscape. It'll have zero influence and in fact may be a positive influencer in the population of wild rabbits, but I can defend from those with um, aromatic companions with the trees that I plant in here. But anyway, here's a pass looking due west, and now slowly moving northbound looking, and you can see all of the deciduous elements have been pollarded throughout here with the idea that they will hopefully re-sprout, and I can manage those re-sprouts either for uh, thin gauge firewood or for green manure or to cut them a few more times and have them pass away fully. In this area in here where I was working on making charcoal from the tops of all these locusts and hawthorn and walnuts, got a nice mountain of biochar or I should say crushed charcoal ready to be inoculated with compost and urine. Uh, and that will end up being the mulch material that I use around the pears and plums and sea berry and all sorts of fun next level elements. So first major level of work in this area of nearly wholesale canopy release is complete. The material is organized 
and put into thoughtful areas where it can decompose and turn into future gardens. The areas that are now open, I have the ability to direct succession. If I do not, so this is the real catch, if you go in and you start clearing, but you don't have a game plan, you're just going to clear the trees and come back in a year or two and see what happens. You lose the successional design uh, opportunity because nature will fill this in. This will be loaded with herbaceous plants and seedling shrubs within a year. So my burden from doing all this clearing work is to now direct the succession, which I'm excited to do. The other thing is that I have to clean up this whole mess. Up until this release, that my potting shed was hidden behind all these trees and shrubs. So this dumpster area has to get cleaned out. I'm going to be phasing out doing potted plant sales in the future and I'll use it as an opportunity that I'll use up the pots and the containers and sell plants in them and let people take them away. But I'm looking forward to having that cleared up as well. So there's an update on the orchard clearing. Still some more raking and organizing to do, but I'm very excited with how much space there is. And again, as I look eastward, and then basically if I take the camera and follow the general arc of sun through the southern sky, let's say that's a late spring, early summer arc, a little shade from that pine, a little shade from this one, but overall that's a dramatically increased amount of light available. And Lots and lots of opportunity for a new direction in succession, of which I'm glad to take on the burden of making sure I design as thoughtfully as I can. And of course, I'll document that and share with folks as I go. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Maybe I won't end on that pile of junk. There we go. <laughs> take care.